to be forever a champion. How about that? Absolute madness. How's it going, goons? It is update day. Not for college football revamped, but for the March Madness Legacy mod for NCAA Basketball 10. And this update has been quite a while in the making and has a lot done in it. Right off the bat, as we can see, the splash screen and the intro are completely redone. Uh, and as we load into the main menu, that's done as well. Now, right off the bat, just a lot better looking, I think, in the menus. Uh, March Madness Legacy branding all over the place. Uh, same thing loading in, all new team logos, and a lot has been updated. Now, right off the bat, version two of the mod has... Uh, a new updated roster set, which is awesome. And the complete power seven, which is again, like it says, the courts and the jerseys. And they're considering the power seven to be the ACC, the American, the Big 12, the Big East, the Big 10, the SEC, and the Pac-12. They've also changed the presentation, uh, score bugged menus, and supposedly they've done some gameplay changes as well. As we can see in the patch notes, the three-point attempts by the CPU have been increased, which I think is a necessary change because just in general, the CPU was not shooting threes uh, at a realistic rate at all. Broken playbooks have been fixed. The four round one issue for the CPU has been fixed and they run more of a motion offense now. The CPU's awareness has increased and the game's physics have also been altered. So let's go in real quick and take a look at the new score bug. And as we can see here coming in, I believe this intro was new, but the score bug itself in the game updated to look a lot more modern, which I think is a nice change. And as we can see here, Duke looking pretty solid, North Carolina with the beautiful Tar Heel blue uniforms. Uh, now installing the mod is simple. It's exactly the same as it was in the past. And it's pretty much exactly the same as college football revamped mod. If you're familiar with that, especially on the RPCS3. Uh, to get it, you go to MarchMadnessLegacy.com. You'll scroll down to download uh, MML version two. And then if you need help, go to the installation guide. that has got a step-by-step -step instruction set. Follow these exactly, but the short version is if you already have it downloaded, you're just going to download the package file and then drag that file into your RPCS3. It'll ask you if you want to install it. You'll say yes. And then just wait a little bit while it does everything that it needs to do. Now, there is one thing that could maybe cause some problems and maybe cause some concern. Uh, when I installed it, my antivirus decided to quarantine uh, one of the files in it. Uh, it's not a necessary file. It is a court switcher for the NCAA tournament so that you can have every single regional uh, court available to you as opposed to just the default ones in the game. Uh, again, if they're not, if you're not comfortable with, you know, disabling your antivirus for an executable, just go ahead and quarantine it because it's not a necessary part of the mod. The mod will still work without it. But if you trust these guys and if you're comfortable with it, then go ahead and just allow that to be uh, installed. Now, speaking of the tournament courts, this is what the default March Madness tournament one looks like. So you can see, you know, no regional identifiers or anything like that. Road to the final four. Uh, it modern graphics, so it does look great, but it's nothing all that special. Now to use the tournament court switcher, uh, it's going to install into your PCS3 directory. So you'll go to your hard drive zero, click on that, go to game, go to 3044 because that's the one that is March Madness. Uh, then user directory data gfx scene assets fx simple this is a long one <laughs> stadium and then there's where the folder that we need to be in and the easiest way to find this is an executable so if you sort by file type and then just scroll down past all the one files it should be the first one or just about the first one after that um so there's the application so you'll run that march madness court switcher it'll pop up this and then you can just choose what you need so uh, enter in the number that you want so let's say we want the first round at washington state we would hit f and enter uh it needs to be a capital letter so it looks the same it'll run through all its stuff and then you should be able to close that down 
and you'll want to do all that with the game closed i know i had it open but that was just to show you uh you do it with the game closed and now you can see top of the screen where we're running it says pullman if we go down to the baseline it says washington state so it has worked uh ignore the memphis on the bottom of the uh uh stanchion i think that's what they call that but first round on the left there and we are in pullman so just looking uh that's available for every tournament court for this year um there's a separate final four and championship game court that you can select in the game that is not just the normal tournament one but you've got the round of uh round one and two for the regionals and then your sweet 16 and elite eight courts as well also included in the mod are not just the courts and jerseys but some updated shoes as well so that's really cool uh something a little bit more modern on the style uh and some really good looks as well definitely not something that i was expecting but it also makes sense basketball shoes are a pretty big part of basketball culture so it's cool to see that getting updated as well so while I know that was it, man, I wish I could go through every single jersey and court in this mod, but it would take me an hour because there's so many of them. So if there's a specific team that you wanted to see, I guess you'll just have to download it for yourself. Again, this is just available on the PC and the PS3. And on a slightly related note, uh, the DePaul Dynasty has been sort of on hold. The analytics don't look all that great on the channel so it doesn't make sense for me to spend a lot of time doing that but we may resume it over on twitch i've been starting to stream more we've been playing the g12 games and i think that ncaa 10 wouldn't be terrible uh that way i don't have to worry about having great commentary all the time necessarily because it's a lot harder to do it for basketball uh in my opinion than football and i'm just not quite great at it yet again though if you want this uh, you can head to the March Madness Legacy Discord. There'll be a link to that. There's also going to be a link to MarchMadnessLegacy.com if you're trying to download it for yourself. Thank you to all the guys on the team for the mod. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the mod, please feel free to hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And then comment down below what you think the best team in this mod is uh, update-wise. After you've done all that, you can head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. It's also links to my Twitter, our community Discord, and then, of course, this March Madness Legacy mod, as well as a few others that uh, pretty useful if you're trying to help support the channel. All that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the goons, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.